how difficult was it to go from spending your time at right tackle to, oh, by the way, we're in the season, now you need to be the left tackle? Um, starting off, it was pretty, pretty difficult. It sounds like an easy task, but um, it's kind of just, uh, just kind of talking to Coach Riley and um, him just knowing the belief that he had in me, it was kind of easy for me just kind of relax and take the time and kind of put in some extra work on just working on getting used to playing that left side. As one of the offensive linemen, I'm interested to hear how you think the offensive line has progressed this year and what still needs to be accomplished by this group. Um, I think that um, you look at the Arkansas State game and some of those earlier games, um, you kind of see a lack in um, physicality. And um, as you slowly look at the continuing progress of the season, you see that um, I'd say you see a big increase in our physicality. But with that being said, I think that we have a lot more work to do when it comes to physicality and just kind of getting that push off the line. When an offense struggles like it did Saturday, how much uh, as a left tackle, uh, how much do you shoulder th that feeling that you've got to do better? I feel really responsible. I know that um, a lot of guys do and the whole o line is a unit. I, I know they definitely do feel like um, a lot of that weights on their shoulder and um, we just got to look forward to next week and just think about how we can get better, take that game as what it was and learn from it and just continue to push on the next week. Is there a sense going to Baylor that this is the let's run the darn ball game, let's let's get this going and, and get over the hump and get back to winning? Uh, I would, yeah, that's definitely, definitely. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it, buddy. Kels? Yeah, I'm wondering what the emotional swings have been like um, going from winning the first four games to now losing three in a row. Has that been – what's that been like handling as a team? Um, yeah, it's definitely easy to um, let yourself get in those emotional swings. But one thing that, like, just playing football, you, you definitely can't let that happen. You got to attack each, each day, each week with a, you know, like, full head of steam like you're ready to go. You can't let those emotional highs get to you. And uh, Saturday was really the first time we've gotten an extended chance to see Nick play at quarterback. Um, if he does get to play more moving forward, how much confidence do you guys have in in him? I have 100% confidence in Nick. He does really well on and off the on and off the field, in the film room. Um, you see him at practice. You know, he's just a really really good player. And um, I know we have 100% confidence in him. And I know he can get the job done. Thanks. Appreciate it. Anything else for Christian? Go ahead, Arnie. Uh, yeah, Briley mentioned that uh, as an offense, you watch watch the game together as a, as a whole unit. Is that is that unusual after a game? Was that uh, I know there's some logistical problems with distancing and stuff, but was that and how helpful do you think that that was? Maybe. Um, yeah, that's not normal. Normally, we do it just as a position group and. Um, I know personally it helped me just, you know, when you're when you're with just your position group, you look at it as kind of more, man, I'm letting my group down on a little assignment bust or a technique bust. But with the whole team, I know I definitely felt even more like weight on my shoulders when it comes to, man, I'm actually letting like this whole position group down. And you get to hear it from everybody else, like all the other position groups and just kind of how we need to work on smaller details and getting moving forward. Is that something you'd like to, to see continue perhaps or? Um, I, I did enjoy it. I think it, it really kind of opened my eyes to some stuff.